Hello everyone. Uh, in today's lecture, we will continue talking about helical structures in protein. In the previous lecture, we discussed uh, all the structural features of alpha helix. And uh, in this lecture, we will talk about 310 helix, pi helix and polyproline helix. So when you have a, a proline in a, in a repeat, so because proline has a rigid pentaring structure, so that's why even proline in consecutive prolines also give rise to some kind of helical conformation, which is different than any other helix. So we'll discuss in this lecture about all these hel remaining helical structures. So first, 310 helix. 310 helix is basically found in uh, 15 to 20 percent of all helices. So where, uh, in fact, uh, at the beginning and end of alpha helix, there is a 310 a small stretch of 310 helix. 310 helix is basically if you expand, if you pull both ends of alpha helix apart, it will become like a 310 helix. So this is extended form of alpha helix and uh, it is supposed to be intermediate in folding and unfolding of alpha helical structures. Uh, it's very small, generally 3 to 5 residues long, which is present on terminal ends of alpha helix. It's uh, also right-handed. There are three residues per turn. Like we have seen in uh, case of alpha helix, there were 3.6 residues per turn. But here, because this is more extended conformation, pulled conformation, so residue is reduced from 3.6 to 3. And the rotation is 120 degree. In alpha helix, is, it was 100 degree. Then translation. Translation means rise per amino acid. The length of alpha helix which is contributed by one amino acid that is 2 angstrom here. It was 1.5 angstrom in case of alpha helix. And the hydrogen bonding pattern is I, I plus 3 or N, N plus 3 means first and fourth amino acid is hydrogen bonded through peptide, uh, peptide groups. Whereas it was n n plus 4 in case of alpha helical structure. The radius is 1.9 angstrom, whereas it was 2.3 angstrom in case of alpha helix. And pitch, which was 5.4, which means uh, the length of one turn, the rise of one turn, that, uh, that is 6 angstrom here instead of 5.4 in case of alpha helix. The phi psi are minus 49 and minus minus 26, they also fall into third quadrant of the Ramachandran plot. And uh, it's, uh, oh, it's uh, often present as a small helix at the end of alpha helix structure. So the second, uh, second another helix uh, which is uh, rare in biological system that's called pi helix. That's a kind of compressed form of alpha helix. If you if you push both the ends of alpha helix, uh, then it become like a pi helical structure. It's a right-handed. There are 4.4 residues per turn. Every turn will have 4.4 residues. The rotation of consecutive amino acid in pi helical conformation is 87 degree. And translation, the rise per amino acid, the length contributed by amino acid to the hel pi helical structure is 1.15 angstrom. It is uh, more further reduced. A hydrogen bonding pattern is I, I plus 5. So first and sixth amino acid is linked through hydrogen bond here. The pitch is 4.8 angstrom. Phi psi uh, plus 55 and minus 70 uh, degree is a small helix around 7 residue long. It's rare in biological system. The radius is high because uh, alpha helix has been compressed from both ends. So it's become wider. So it's become 2.8 angstrom instead of 2.3 in case of alpha helix. And uh, if you look at them, th these are the example of uh, same number of amino acid in 310 helix, alpha helix and pi helix. You see alpha uh, 310 helix is extended form. The length is more in case of 310 helix because uh, rise is more, the rise per amino acid is more, whereas alpha helix is medium and pi helix is shorter. This is compressed. So basically, if you pull alpha helix in both direction, then it become like 310 helix. And if you compress it from both ends, this is become pi helix. So this is a very good table to remember all the structural properties of uh, these three helices. 
like occurrence this is less occurred 310 helix whereas this is pi helix is rare alpha helix is normally found in protein structure in abundance rise per amino acid is 1.5 angstrom in alpha helix it is reduced to 1.15 in pi helix and it's increased in to 2 in 310 helix similarly reduced per ton is 3 in 310 helix 3.6 in alpha helix and is increased to 4.4 in pi helix now rotation is 120 degree in 310 is 100 degree in alpha helix and 87 degree in pi helix hydrogen bonding i plus 3 first and fourth amino acid linked through hydrogen bond in case of alpha helix first and fifth amino acid and here first and sixth amino acid is hydrogen bonded in case of pi helix the pitch is 6 angstrom 5.4 angstrom in case of alpha helix pi helix 4.8 angstrom the radius is, uh, is smaller in case of uh, 310 helix because this is pulled structure alpha helix is 2.3 and is more radius is more in pi helix that's 2.8 angstrom Even uh, when proline is present at uh, in a in a repeat manner, that also give rise to uh, helical conformation. That is called polyproline helix. In fact, there are two type of proline because prote proline has a rigid pentaring structure. So when you put uh, consecutive prolines one after another, it adopts some helical structure. There are two type of uh, such kind of helical structure. You call them polyproline one and polyproline two. So in case of polyproline 1, the peptide bond is cis peptide bond between prolines, consecutive prolines and uh, there are 3.3 residues per ton, phi and psi are minus 75 and uh, plus 150 degree. The rise per amino acid is 1.9 angstrom in case of polyproline 1, whereas in polyproline 2, it contains transpeptide bond, all the peptide bonds are trans. There are three residues per ton and uh, this is in fact more extended conformation because residue is increased here. So it's 3 instead of 3.3 in case of polyproline 1. Phi and psi minus 75 and almost similar plus 160. The rise per amino acid is more here. It's uh, 3.1 angstrom. And uh, polyproline 2 is stable in aqueous solvent. In fact, uh, there is an enzyme which convert 1 into 2 that's prolyl isomerase that interconvert cis trans cis trans conversion from helix 1 to 2 and uh, there is no hydrogen bonding bonding present in polyproline helices like we have seen in other other alpha alpha helix, helix and 310 and pi helix here they are steric constraints between proline that stabilize helix there is no hydrogen bond uh, which, which help in the stability of the polyproline helices. And they are found in several structures, in fact. So if you look at the uh, these uh, polyproline helices helis from top, you will see that in case of uh, polyproline 1, uh, because the rise, uh, there is a 3.3 amino acid present per ton, so you get this kind of a structure. Whereas in case of uh, polyproline 2 helix, it show exactly threefold symmetry because there are three amino acids uh, per ton present in case of uh, polyproline 2 helix.